Recently, I made a video about uh, an upcoming shrouded roadmap and how I was, well, I was a bit skeptical that they'd be able to squeeze all of the stuff that they said in this roadmap in 2024, as promised. But they've just released their first major update, and all of my skepticism and fears have just evaporated. Check this out. I've actually got into game this time to check it out. I'm not going to go through the patch notes, but I will link them down in the video description down below. If you want to have a look through them yourself, they are quite extensive. They add some amazing new stuff, such as new dungeons called the Hollow Halls, which is kind of like the, the flagship feature of the patch notes, I suppose. Uh, and they obviously come with new enemies and things like that, and they're designed for multiple multiplayer, so you would struggle solo, but it's not impossible. And they've done other stuff, like they've revamped a lot of the locations around the map, they've done a lot of bug fixing, a lot of visual fixing, and so on and so forth. You do the sort of stuff that you'd expect, and the sort of stuff that they said, exactly they said on their roadmap. But some of the biggest deals, and I'm not talking about new dungeons or revamped things, but this. Sitting on furniture. Oh, yes. <laughs> I could finally use the John in my house. Still can't get in the bathtub, though. So, you know, it's not all win. Now, they've added a bunch of new deco blocks as well, including one of my personal favorites, potted plants. Look, they just absolutely spruce the place up now with a few potted plants. And those of you that know me, you know, and I love a decorative potted plant around my base. So this is a huge win for me. Again, it might not be the flagship feature of this update, but this is important stuff. In terms of building and stuff, there's a lot of exciting new opportunities included. Uh, rounded things, rounded doors and rounded windows and so on and so forth. Although um, I may not have unlocked the doors yet. <laughs> Still, uh, you can see them here. And, um, you know, this is going to make... This is going to make the uh, the Hobbit hole fantasy build even more uh, reality. Even more trees and bushes and shrubs and stuff can now be uh, created, into, uh, turned into seeds, and you can grow them in your base as well. So you've got the Revelwood green leaf and the Revelwood red leaf, as well as the the broad leaf and evergreen that we did have before. I'm hoping that they add palm leaf to that as well. I haven't actually got that far in the game yet, so I don't know. But they've added a bunch. Of course, there is a whole host of new weapons, new building blocks, new decorative blocks, as I mentioned, but. Um, you chose to bug fixes. One of the ones that was annoying me was the fact that my shield would disappear with this particular weapon here. The axe, that has now come back, so that's nice, new and fixed. Love that. Thank you very much. So I've got to say that with this this patch, they, I mean, they've, they've struck off like a quarter of their roadmap already in one update. So this is what I was saying about, like, they have completely and utterly evaporated the doubts and fears that I had about them getting this roadmap done in a year, because they have just delivered massively delivered on their roadmap so i am now just like super excited uh, as i was already really um with that sort of little voice in the back of your head like they're gonna fuck it up they're gonna fuck it up no that's gone let's go it's <laughs> they're kicking ass um really appreciate king games for their hard work on unshrouded a game uh, that i am thoroughly enjoying and really really like so to see it uh, coming out with such massive updates huge changes and them staying true to their word as well this is something that we don't hear a lot of in game development these days, unfortunately. So this is really nice to see. Uh, they've added a bunch of like quality of life stuff as well. As you can imagine, you can now actually add um, stuff directly from here. So you can do it for metal plates, though. You can add one, two, three. And then plus one is plus one of the metal sheets, not plus one metal scraps. So obviously, uh, bear that in mind. Plus 10 as well would be plus 10 metal sheets, not plus 10 metal scraps. And it's just a, it's just many, many things like that. You can now remap the glide button to a different button other than space as well. So that can help people. I haven't done it myself, but I know it's there. But it's loads and loads of quality of life improvements, changes and fixes and things like that. That's just, just like going to really um, allay the sort of grumbles and stuff about the game, I think. And um, the graphic updates and changes and stuff. I mean, it looks fantastic. It looked fantastic before, but uh, I could definitely tell the difference here. Uh, just looking at the game right now, the uh, outfit that I was wearing <laughs> looks way better. Just threw it up there. It looks incredible now. Um, what it looked like straight out of freaking Robin Hood before. So, yeah. It looks great. They got a ton of fixes in the um, skill tree as well. One of which that I complained about was multi-shot would consume too many arrows. They've now addressed that. 
The wording is slightly concerning. I do want to check this out, but as you can see, I don't have the unlock points, unfortunately. I could reset and rebuild my tree, but who wants to do that? But apparently the um, arrows will not be consumed when special arrows are selected. Now, this has me slightly concerned because in the Hunter here, we can see the arrows are the normal arrows. These are the ones you use, your copper, your poison arrows um, from flint all the way up to bronze and stuff. And then there's special arrows, and it says particularly in the patch notes that it will not consume when special arrows are selected. Now, I don't really use these. The stun arrows, the shroud arrows, the flare arrows, and I'm assuming we get explosive arrows in there at some point as well when we start picking up sulfur and stuff. I'm not going to be using these as a kind of mainstay, I don't think. I mean, they use alchemic base for crying out loud. These are expensive things, which is why I don't use them. The one I would maybe use is shroud arrow, but which would be useless against shroud creatures anyway. So um, typically, don't use them. So does that mean that this update only works uh, for those special arrows, as it says in the patch notes. Or does it work for the noise normal ones as well? Because it was the normal ones that I was going through. Anyway, I'll have to wait and see until I get a new skill point and stuff like that. One of the things on the map here as well is you can now send a ping. That's really nice. Uh, when you're playing multiplayer and you want someone or your friends to go a certain direction, you're trying to describe, go towards that hill or that thing over there. Now you can just ping. Bling, bling, bling. Bling, bling, bling. And it puts a thing on the compass. And the ping just disappears after a little while anyway. So we get a new quest as well. Balthazar here I think is going to tell us to descend into the hollow. The hollow. Get little husks animated by ear and the curse of the flame. Legends say they were banished into grand underground halls of the unknown origin and discovered one such hole during my studies but I could not enter. Maybe you can. Best assemble a team if you have one to descend. Um, so the elixir dangerous as well. We'll come back to that another time probably in my let's play. So that has added... Oh, there we go. There's a marker. The hollowed whores. Um, that's the one here. I don't... I, th I assume what we'll have to do is complete that one before we get the next one in the next area. So there should be one in Revelwood as well. And then in... Um, I keep forgetting about the name of this one. The Basically the arid plains or whatever you want to call it. And, um, and, then, and then in the desert, finally. And then, of course, they'll add... When they add the mountain biome and they add, like, swamp and jungles or whatever else they're going to add, then we'll get ones in there as well. But these dungeons... I mean, we're going to go quickly check one out now. But they are not to be messed with or underestimated. Beware of the hollow. My dear, the alchemist has you to enter the hollow halls. Beware the hollow. Inside, these thieves conspired to claim part of the flame and were cursed by the ancients. punishment. Could never feel the warmth of another. I almost pity them. Okay. Don't overwork. Don't overwork. Well, that's sound advice. Thanks, Emily. Okay, let's have a little sleep. I'll meet you at the hollowed halls. Let's go check it out. Well, aside from being an absolute pain in the ass to get to, um, here we are. The hollowed halls. Let's check it out. There seems to be a... Um, Little flame outside for a respawn point, which is concerning. Okay, right. let's see. Um, I know. I now I'm under no illusion. I'm not going to be completing this, but I wanted to have a quick look inside to see what uh, see what it was like. And then we'll probably have to wait for um, the Chaos Crew streams on Mondays, where we take out we take on Enshrouded. We'll be doing this. Oh yes, we'll be doing this. They are more than legends after all. The hollow hall exists and inside them echo the melodies of a bygone age. Memories of a time where clear skies reigned and the shroud was still slumbering below. These halls of unknown origin have existed for millennia, but their architecture differs from that of the ancients most curious. It is said that these crypts served as banishment grounds for the lowest in society. I wonder if they cursed the inhabitants still walk this earthly plain. Dun dun dun. All right. I mean, yeah, the walls are different. I wonder if we can get these blocks and build types as well. That would be nice. I'm no doubt we can. Hello. There. So there's a lot of them. So these are just the trash mobs that you start with, and already they're. Uh, there appears to be a wizard. They're using the uh, necromancy things. But, there we go. That was just the trash mobs at the beginning. <laughs> 
That's a good fight. That was a good fight. I enjoyed that fight. Um, lots of things here. I think we can smash these. And, yep. Blint arrows, bandages, all useful stuff. That wasn't even the entrance to the hollows. This is... Oh, boy. Right. Okay. Well, here we definitely go. There's a respawn point. I knew there had to be one in here. I think the uh, first fight there was a test. This is a little okay, kind of... Oh, I'm going to have a little sit down. <laughs> this is going to be a new thing now. I'm going to be looting stuff. And then I'm going to just randomly sit down. It's like the grappling all over again. I want to loot something, but end up grappling. Hello. You guys. Ow. I'm very rude. Why don't you see, I was having a nice little sit down when you rocked up. I got life leech on this mace. It's lovely for the, um, you know, healing. Notice how none of those skeletons, they drop no loot. There's only the spectral dudes that actually drop loot as well. Oh boy, there's a lot of these things, isn't there? I'm going to get a cheeky couple of hits on you. That's nearly kill. That is... Um, it's tight quarters in here, so bowing isn't necessarily the... Uh, only poss possible option, if you know what I mean. It's not always possible. But, I mean... So far... I mean, I'm, I'm, these are only level 10, so it's possible I can solo this one. Um, and we'll be fine. But certainly I think we're getting to Revelwood. Maybe we can solo Revelwood. But I think it's going to be a lot harder. Well, I really this gives you an idea of what we're going to do. I'm not going to go any further now because I don't want to spoil it. I just wanted to give you a flavor of these new dungeons. And this is level 10. Bear in mind, I'm level 20 or so. So um, I might be making this look easy. Uh, from what I hear, it's not. <laughs> we're very much just in the trash mob phase anyway. So there we go. The Hollow Halls update. Absolutely phenomenal update. I don't know what that was, but I wanted to fly into it. Um, very promising quality. Of, there's that freaking grapple again. <laughs> what is this? There you go. Barrier unlocked. So it just sort of ruined that for you. Anyway, uh, as a, you can consider it freebie. Freebie puzzle solved by accident. It wasn't my intention. <laughs> but the hollow hold update, ladies and gentlemen. Huge update. Massive changes. Huge improvements. Um, absolutely banging it out. The devs have been shrouded, really killing it. And that roadmap that I was so skeptical about, well, I just got proved wrong once again. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think down below in the, the comments section. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>